Hey, what's up Aquamigos? So in today's video, we're going to see where we can get with the bottom drain. My dad's out here helping. About two days ago, I came out here and I kind of cleaned out the inside of the pond. I dug out the tunnel again, which got filled in by the rain. I ended up pulling something in my back. I had to rest for a day, but I'm back out again in my muddy clothes. And we're gonna see if we can get that thing installed today. First, I went ahead and dug the hole for the bottom drain wider and deeper. I think I did something around 18 inches deep and 22 inches wide. And then we took the top flange off of the bottom drain because we didn't need it quite yet. And then we cleaned the surface of the bottom flange of the bottom drain and put tape over the screw holes so dirt won't get in there. Later we also put tape over the bottom of the holes as well, and we also put tape over the check valve in the middle of the bottom drain. We then held the bottom drain inside the hole so we could see approximately how deep our trench would need to be for the 4 inch PVC pipe. And a major shout out to my dad because as you'll see, he helped me out a ton in this video. My dad started digging the trench out more while I dumped the dirt that he was digging out. And we had a cinder block supporting the inside of the tunnel to hopefully prevent it from caving in, but we were at a point where we could remove it. My dad then cleaned the ends of the 4 inch PVC pipe and taped them shut so that dirt wouldn't be able to get in. Alright guys, we're making some progress out here. While my dad was taping up that pipe over there, I hammered in these three stakes down there and let me show you this. These are all leveled to the height where the bottom drain is going to sit and check this out. Basically leveled, basically leveled. That's gonna help us rest the bottom drain on top of when we're trying to get it at the right height and everything before we pour in the concrete around the bottom drain. It was now time to test fit the four inch pipe in the trench and I needed to dig a little bit more on the other side of the tunnel and we kept on digging until we were able to get a piece of wood to lay level all the way along the trench through the tunnel to the other side of the retaining wall. All right, check it out guys. We are basically level, check that out. It's really important from what I've seen online at least, it's really important to have the four inch pipe be flat because if there's a slight angle to it, apparently bacteria could build up on the slope. So things are looking pretty good. Next, we put the 4 inch PVC pipe and the half inch PVC pipe back into the trench so we could take some measurements and cut the pipes to size. My dad used an electric saw to cut the 4 inch pipe, and I believe he used a blade meant for cutting fiberglass. This blade made a really clean cut, and he just sanded off some of the shavings sticking off the end of the pipe. We then dry fit it with the bottom drain and test fit them in the pond and they fit perfectly. We then separated the pipe and the bottom drain again so that they could be glued together. Since we already had the 90 degree angle glued to the pipe, my dad came up with the creative idea to wedge the pipe into this angle on an outside wall of the house to help keep the pipe still while we glued the bottom drain to the pipe. The top of the bottom drain and the top of the 90 degree angle needed to be level. By the way, before gluing anything, we cleaned the surfaces with isopropyl alcohol. As you can see, it was a whole family effort as my mom even came outside to help hold the pipe while we glued the bottom drain. All right guys, so as you can tell, it's starting to get dark now. It gets dark like around 5 p.m. now. But as you can see, we're making some progress. We're gonna try to do the small airline pipe and see if we can get that done before it gets dark. 
I went ahead and cut the half inch PVC pipe with a regular PVC cutter to make it the right size. And once again, my dad cleaned the pipe with isopropyl alcohol and we glued the half inch 90 degree angle to the pipe. When I was buying the PVC glue, they only had the big size with the big brush, so it always made a mess when I would apply the glue to the smaller pipe. We then attached the half inch pipe to the bottom drain, which will act as the airline, and as you can see, it got dark right before our eyes, but I turned on the floodlights so we could lay the entire bottom drain assembly into the pond, and it fit perfectly. All right guys, so the bottom drain is down in the hole. Check this out. All right, dad, would you do the honors? Leveler, level horizontally. Let's try the other way. Level this way, and let's check the pipe. All right, dang, look at that. Look at that, guys. So tomorrow, guys, we're gonna put the vertical pipes going up and out of the pond, and then also concrete around the bottom drain so that's anchored down. And that's probably going to be just about it for this video. And of course, I have some shout outs for the Aquamigas. I have a shout out for It's SpongeBob HD, Mari Saninjad, Daniel Azevedo, Luis Da Silva, Sleepy Girl ZZZ, Farmore Koi, Keeping It Koi, Martins Koi Pond and Garden, David Hardley, Ramon Santana, and Twist. Koi. Thank you guys so much for being Aquamigos. I really appreciate it. If any of you guys watching this video would like a shout out in my next video, all you have to do is go down to the comments below and comment something with the word Aquamigo in it. As usual guys, I'm going to beg for likes and subscribes. If you did like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. And if you'd like to see more of this pond build progress, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and also that bell notifications button. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll go ahead and put my handle right here. It's at YT underscore Tobias and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.